Well, let's be clear, there is no place in any place, any time for violence against women. Workplace, fun place, any place, no place. It's up to all of us to take a stand. Ending gender-based violence starts with having the courage to call out bad behaviour and violent language towards others. To make your thoughts known is more powerful than you think. I ask that you stand up against gender-based violence and to hold a zero tolerance for violence and abuse against women and children. Um, we have a 15 year old uh, daughter who's going through secondary college at the moment. I don't want her growing up in a world full of violence where women are treated disrespectfully and I actually want her to have a very, very good opportunity to have a shot at anything she wants to do regardless of her gender. So violence against women is just not acceptable and it's not acceptable now or it's not acceptable moving into the future. Having grown up in an environment where respect for women was paramount and now having children of my own, I find it quite disappointing that domestic violence even still occurs. Being new to CFA, um, I understand that the values at CFA are pretty clear. So for me, we need to call this out and we need to make sure that it stops. Ending gender-based violence to me is just about having the courage to call it out. To speak up when you see something that doesn't feel right. Your words are so powerful and I'm asking everybody to speak up and have the courage to act. If you look at, at some of the statistics, we know that one in four women have experienced emotional abuse by a partner. We know that one in two have experienced sexual harassment at some time in their lifetime. So they're just a couple of the terrible uh, statistics that we know about. What that means is that for men would all know a woman that has experienced some sort of violence against them or some sort of abuse and uh, would probably know um, perpetrators as well, unfortunately, so all could have been a perpetrator themselves. So it starts with us, it starts with men. We've got to look back at ourselves, reflect on our own behaviours and ask ourselves, what are we doing to build positive relationships with women? Ending gender-based violence starts with calling it out. It's just not okay for women and children to be subjected to physical or psychological abuse. Don't stand for it. See something, say something for their sake. As a husband and as a father of a young daughter, I don't stand for gender-based violence. As a senior leader in CFA, I will stand up and call out gender-based violence. I ask you to do the same. Stand up, speak up, and let's end violence. For me, ending gender-based violence is about giving everybody the opportunity to grow and develop in a safe environment and to allow people to work together in their homes and in their workplaces to be the best that they can be. There are no reasons for gender-based violence in CFA or in our community. We play an important leadership role as CFA members, leaders within our organisation to ensure that we have the courage to speak up against gender-based violence.